Hello and welcome back to the final video in this series, SQL Server on Amazon RDS. So a big congratulations if you've made it through to the 10th video. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to monitor your SQL RDS instance using CloudWatch. So CloudWatch is an internal tool within AWS, so that's their very own monitoring tool. You can also connect third-party tools um, to monitor your RDS SQL Server instance, but today we're only going to be focusing on CloudWatch. So you can access CloudWatch via the RDS console itself, or actually through a dedicated CloudWatch console, where you can bring metrics from lots of different services together. CloudWatch displays the key metrics for you, and actually allows you to set alarms based on those thresholds. So if you, for example, want to be alerted if your database instance is busier than usual and you may want to set a CPU alarm, then we're going to show you how to do that today. You can also access logs via CloudWatch and you can create custom dashboards. So let's go into the AWS console and get started. So here we are in the AWS console and if we click on the database instances, then we can see that trusted old demo DB is still up and running. And this is the last time that we're going to use it. So let's expand demo DB and click on the monitoring tab. Then first of all, we can see that it's going to show us some metrics here. Now it's only showing six, but there are more than that. So if you want to see more on the one page, then you can just change that, set that to the maximum there, and you can see everything all together. So if you want to see anything that has to do with CPU, you can just type CPU in there and you will see the different uh, metrics up there. Um, or if perhaps you wanted to see the total number of database connections. So take some time to familiarize yourself with what these metrics are and what you want to do with them. Some of them you'll just want to have a look at them every now and then and some of them you want to have some uh, actionable outputs based on what's happening. So let's go and look at the CloudWatch console itself. Um, let's go back to the home page of our AWS console and it's here in my recently visited services. So in the CloudWatch console that's where we can actually create some alarms. So let's have a go at creating an alarm. We're going to click create alarm and then select metric. Now what we want is RDS and in here we want the one that says pair database metrics. Okay so although DemoDB is really the instance the terminology they've used is um, per database metrics. So what I'd like to do here is create one based on the CPU utilization. Um, if we put in CPU and hit that, we should find the demo DB CPU utilization. And as you can see, over the last little while, it's been up and down a bit. I've been running some queries to warm up the instance and it hit kind of about 70%. What we'd like to do is set up an alarm that will let us know if that hits above 60%. So let's see how we do that. Select the metric there. <clears throat> We're happy with these things so far. The period is five minutes, so you could set that you know, pretty low to like 10 seconds or longer. And you can also set how many periods have to be at the threshold value before the alarm will trigger. So I'm just going to say one minute so that we can definitely get something triggered through here. And I'm going to say more than 60%. So when the alarm triggers, what do we want to happen? Well, I want to receive an email. And the technology for doing this is through SNS, which is the Simple Notification Service. I don't have an SNS topic set up at the moment, so let's create a new one. It's giving it the name Default CloudWatch Alarms Topic. That will do for now. And let's put in the email address here. And create the topic. It's really as simple as that to do that. Let's click next. Give it a name here. Let's call it demo DB CPU. And next. So that's letting us know that over the last sort of period of time, this would have triggered. And that's understandable because I've been running some pretty heavy queries just to actually push up the CPU a bit. 
Let's go down and click Create Alarm. So the alarm is created, but there's one more step. Um, you have to subscribe to the topic, and you do that via your email. Okay, so I have the email here from AWS Notifications, and it's saying to me to click Confirm Subscription if I want to subscribe to that topic, and I do. So let's click that, and that lets us know that we are subscribed. You can also click there to unsubscribe, and if we do get an alarm through, it will also have an unsubscribe option on it. So let's push up the CPU a bit. I'm going to run some queries here and get the CPU ramping up so that we will hopefully be able to trigger this alarm. So we're back here in the RDS part of the console. Um, I've kicked off some pretty nasty queries, so hopefully pretty soon that should start spiking things up a bit. Uh, let's click on the CPU utilization. So we're about 42 just now. I'm just going to give that a minute or two until the metrics catch up. Okay, so those queries are running away now. And as we can see, we're up to about 67% CPU, which is higher than uh, the threshold. And also it was 65 a minute ago. We should have an email. So let's have a look. And the email is there. So let's click on that. It's going to let us know that we're receiving that because our alarm has moved into the alarm state. It was previously okay. We can see that as well in CloudWatch. So let's go to CloudWatch. And if we look on the left hand side, we can see that one of our alarms is in the alarm state. And we can actually just click on alarms and see them all. We only do have one. When that loads up, we can see it's in the alarm state. So let's go and stop the queries and hopefully get things back under control. The queries have all been killed. Whilst we're waiting on the CPU coming down a bit and the alarm clearing, let's talk about dashboards. Okay, so let's create a dashboard. We're going to call this one demo DB hyphen RDS. Then here we can add various tiles. So I want to, first of all, add the CPU metrics. So I'm going to RDS per database metrics. Let's put CPU in the search bar. And I'm going to add all of those ones. And create the widget. Let's do another one. Um, this time let's do it for memory. And we want the freeable memory. I'd also like to know how many connections I've got to the database. So I'm going to just add a number here. And let's put in the database connections. And the last thing is, let's be able to tell at a glance the state of all our alarms. So let's add an alarm status. So let's just drag these out a bit so that they fit nicely. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's click Save, and that's us created a dashboard. As we can see, the state of the alarm has gone back to OK, so we're quite acceptable now. We're back to about 28% uh, CPU utilization. So that covers CloudWatch. I hope you found that useful, and I hope you found the whole course useful. I've certainly enjoyed um, creating the content for it. Uh, hopefully there'll be more to follow soon. Thank you.